What is up, y'all? Within today's video, we're going to be talking about Huda Katan because she's regaining her title as CEO of Huda Beauty, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, I made a video about that and I completely forgot about it. Like, I made a video about that when she decided to give up her title as CEO and then I just completely forgot all about it. And then Loki, if I'm keeping it real with you guys, I pretty much only buy like my two main products from Huda Beauty, which is my brow pencil as well as their like little brow like fiber thing. I wouldn't call it a brow gel necessarily. It adds kind of like a little bit of like fibers to the brow, but then kind of like holds it in place. It's weird. It's a weird product. I really do actually like it. I really like it if I'm like too lazy to do my brows. I just comb a little bit on and it like makes them more fluffy and full. Um, anyways, but besides that, I really have forgotten about the brand to be quite honest with you guys. Not to say that I didn't like the brand. I obviously have done several reviews. I own several Huda Beauty products and I've actually really enjoyed them all. Recently, if you guys did not see in the month of December, I did do a video of like products that are on sale at Sephora that I would purchase if like I had like money, which y'all know I don't. And I saw on there that all of the glowish products were on sale, but like big time, like the foundations were super, super cheap. And it's crazy because I did say that I actually like that foundation. I own it. I did do a review of it, but when I did wear it by itself, I was like, whoa, this is just way too much. But then I found mixing it with foundations. It is a great mixer for foundations. Say for example, if you have a really nice foundation that you like, but you're like, you know what? It's just a little bit too matte. Mix one pump of that glowish in there and it just makes it radiant. It's super beautiful, but wearing it by itself, in my personal opinion, I felt that that glowish foundation had more dewiness and more radiance in it than the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And y'all know that is obviously meant to be kind of like a radiant type of product. Like me, when I wear it, I only wear it on the high points of my face. And that's just pretty much it. That foundation though, I was like, whoa, I look like a grease ball, but mixing it in is really nice. And on top of that too, I do like my glowish, um, little bronzer and not bronzer this is blush but and bronzer i really do like these the bronzer i really like i purchased this two times now so i'm kind of sad that they're getting rid of this because in my personal opinions opinions i read the bottom of this and because it said soft radiance i said that i um, in my personal opinion i really like this because it does add a soft radiance to the skin and i really enjoyed that so i'm kind of sad that it's gonna go because in my personal opinion that was like one of my favorite bronzers so i do think that sucks but obviously she has to do it for certain reasons i guess maybe the brand just wasn't performing as she expected Expected. And then if you guys did not remember, she gave up her title as CEO basically because she thought that like the brand was growing to be way too big. It was announced in, I forget exactly what year it was. I want to say... Was it like maybe like 2019 or like maybe maybe even 2020? I forget what year it was exactly, but it was announced that the brand was a billion dollar brand. So it was growing to be way massive. And being that it is obviously started out as a influencer brand, maybe it started to be a little bit too much. You know, I feel like a lot of influencers, when they come out with brands, they can pretty much manage it themselves because it's not going to a global level. As to where Huda Beauty was like a top seller in Sephora for so many years and being that it is worldwide, they sell it pretty much everywhere. So I do think obviously it would be a little difficult to handle that. But... I'm going to be reading an article within today's video, basically as to like why she is taking it back and then who she gave it to. I personally think that obviously it's a difficult situation. Like if you own a brand, you have a vision for that and to give up that title and to give up all the business moves and you start seeing the brand go in a different direction. I think that, that would be really, really hard. Like I couldn't imagine y'all because I'm so sorry. Like when it comes down to me, if I see something in my head and I want it that way, then I want it that way. Do you know what I mean? Especially if it's something that I created. So I don't know. Like, I guess obviously she did it for a reason, but it's just not working out. And she is taking back control of her brand. And I'm curious to see where things are going to go. Because in her most recent YouTube video, she did announce that she is going to be doing a rebrand as well. So I'm curious to know how the brand is going to go. I wonder if she's going to be making some price increases because y'all, like you guys know, I stay on deck. These are like literally my favorite brow pencil. This is the, um, micro shade brow pencil y'all i get these for only ten dollars so that's why i love them so much so i'm really hoping that she doesn't do a price increase you guys know i'm always raving about navy na uh, namies um it's a makeup store in burbank I, th I think it's considered burbank maybe studio city one of the two in california and if you guys are a makeup professional or even a cosmetologist cosmetologists i think get a less discount but if you're a makeup professional you do get discount and y'all huda beauty offers 40 percent off of her products there so i really hope that she doesn't change that because then that would kind of suck and i'm like my cheap ass would look for something new and i'm like y'all getting those brow pencils for only ten dollars love them so much anyway so we're gonna be talking about that within today's video i do have one question that has nothing to do with huda beauty um i recently did just see and i'm gonna be talking about it in another video too but i'm just like kind of too eager to talk about it 
I did see that on Trend Mood that, um, oh my gosh, why am I about to call it Huda Beauty? Why did I just forget her name? Oh my gosh. Charlotte Tilbury just came out with a brand new cleanser. Ironically enough, my skin has been so dry, which I am not used to. I'm like, what the hell is going on? My skin has always pretty much remained normal. I would get very, very oily in the like T zone, but then throughout the rest of my face, it would be normal. I don't know what's happening, y'all. Maybe because it was like freezing and windy in Japan. I don't know. My skin just got like, like really, really dry. And I've been looking for a moisturizing, um, face wash. Well, Charlotte Tilbury just came out with a new one. Can you guys please let me know what you guys think about that product? Because I am thinking about purchasing it when the Sephora cell does come up. And I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts and opinions about it beforehand. I know I'm probably going to end up talking about it in like a new makeup drops video. And I'm probably going to talk about it in like a, um, I, like what would I buy from the Sephora cell because it is coming up in April. So I'm probably going to be talking about it twice, but I really am like, oh my gosh, maybe I should try that product because it's meant to be a moisturizing face wash. And it does seem like it would be really, really good. Like the before and after pictures, I was like, wow, that looks like a good face wash of something that I need. Temporarily though, I did pick up uh, because y'all for the longest time I've been using my Polish Choice Gentle Cleanser and I loved it, but I'm like, even that is drying out my skin. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? I just picked up the La Roche-Posay moisturizing. Um, it's like a moisturizing foam. And I know typically they say like, oh, foams dry out the skin, but I guess this one's meant to not dry out the skin because it has like shea butter and like all these other things like hyaluronic acid and all that good stuff in it. I've used it twice and it's pretty good. It's not drying me out as much as the Polish Choice one was, but um, let me know how you guys like that Charlotte Tilbury one because I'm super curious about that. So anyways, let me shut up. Make sure you guys click the link down below. Head over to my podcast channel. Y'all, we upload new podcasts every single Wednesday and then my travel channel will be linked down below too. So make sure you guys go show some love on those channels and let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to be reading an article right here from cosmeticsbusiness.com. Um, she did make a YouTube video about it, but I really do like the depth that this um, article did go into about the full, like, you know, her giving up her title and all that stuff. I feel like it went into more depth. As to where on her YouTube video, I just kind of felt like she was just basically saying a little bit about things. Do you know what I mean. So this is what it says right here. Huda Katan announces Huda Beauty rebrand. I'm finally taking back my power as CEO. The Dubai-based makeup entrepreneur will also discontinue products including Glowish. I did find that to be a little bit like, I don't know, like weird that she's already just like giving up on the, the uh, Glowish products because in my personal opinion, I like when brands will have like, okay, this is their line of like all natural things. And then this is their line of like, okay, you want full coverage and all that. And I do know, obviously there's a lot of brands out there that will just be like, oh, okay, NARS, for example, they have an extreme full coverage foundation and then they have like a light radiant foundation like I totally get that but obviously to a consumer it's much more easy when you go into a brand's counter say for example like at Sephora if you're like looking right here here's the glowish stuff here's the actual Huda Beauty stuff you know that the glowish stuff is meant to be a little bit more radiant a little bit more dewy a little bit more light coverage and then you know Huda Beauty is meant to be a little bit more full coverage a little bit more intense do you know what I mean so I like that she did create two separate brands but I guess maybe it just wasn't selling too well and I guess that's why she's getting rid of it um anyways um Huda Katan has announced pivotal pivot oh my gosh pivotal changes to her eponym I don't know how to pronounce that word y'all eponymous beauty brand Huda Beauty will be re branded with a new logo, brand identity, and packaging by the end of the year, said Katan in a video on Instagram. Oh, I didn't even know she posted it on Instagram. I just saw it on YouTube. However, the brand's product portfolio will be um, streamlined and makeup slash skincare hybrid line Glowish um, will be closed after three years in business. The makeup artist and influencer claims that this is the first time she is thinking holistically about Huda Beauty as she launched her company focusing on her debut eyelash products. I didn't even know that, to be honest with you. I didn't know that was her first product that she came out with. I feel like when like Huda Beauty really like took the map was that foundation because her first foundation was really good Especially during that time like all of us love that full coverage, you know Anyways, um, she also noted how influencer brands have improved since her launch and that Huda Beauty needed to evolve. And I do agree because I feel like everything has kind of like stayed the same. And I feel like when she first came out, I was like, whoa, for her being a influencer brand, like, damn, she's doing a lot of good things. And then, yeah, a lot of other influencer brands are stepping their game up too. So, so does she. So I do agree with that. Um, the brand I would have developed had I had the means to do it, had I known that we would have developed a full brand, that's what you're going to see this year year said uh she said that's what she said in her video too so that's why i was like you know what so maybe now she's like okay i got some coins in the bank so like let me put a lot into this brand but then that does make me a little bit scared for her price points because like low-key like her eyeshadows and stuff like that like you guys know i love her eyeshadows but i still feel like they're kind of like you know really pricey so i'm like i'm curious to know i just feel like with a whole new rebranding that means the prices are going to go up like for sure 
The changes follow a shift in the company's leadership team. Catan stepped down as CEO in 2020 and promoted former Knicks president Natalie Cristo from global um, deputy CEO to the top role. Cristo left in 2021 with Catan and her husband sharing the CEO role. I'm finally taking back my power as CEO of Huda Beauty, said Catan in the video. I had received advice from a lot of incredible people around me and they weren't necessarily wrong with the advice, but they shared with me, um, you don't know what you're, do uh, what you're doing running a business and you need to get some real people here in order to get the business to go from where it is now, uh, right now to the place you envision it going, she said. They were definitely right about that. I needed to get some experts in place, but I think maybe some of the guidance was pushing me too far down one way. I did end up bringing in amazing people, but I also ended up not doing some of the things that were so important to me, she continued. She, um, she said that she ignored her own instinct and did not listen to herself to remain as CEO, quote right here, which is crazy to me now because listening to myself is what built my business. Listening to myself is doing what people told me at the time were impossible, which is really crazy to me because yeah, exactly. Like she made her brand a billion dollar brand before she decided to have somebody else run it. So I'm like, girl, you already know you could do it. Do you know what I mean? And then on top of that too, she did say in her YouTube video that she actually hadn't been to the lab for several amount of years. And she basically was like having other people like create the products and stuff. And I'm like, that's crazy because I thought that like her like being a creative person she would like to go to the lab and create these products which I guess she wasn't doing um for a while you know and continuing on right here at the time influencer brands were not going global at all and I kept on listening to that voice in my head saying no you don't need to follow a blueprint you're going to create something new it has been one of the biggest regrets of my life because I didn't listen to myself I felt in the moment that was wrong but I felt that I didn't know better she added um, the reality is the mistake took a lot out of me when she stepped down in 2019 the decision was to enable Catan to focus on product development and co uh, content marketing however while she was involved in NPD they were not her vision at heart and heart and Catan said in the most recent uh video it oh my gosh I am so reading that off. And Catan said in the most recent video that the last time she led product development was in 2019. Huda Beauty launched in 2013 and has gone on to be one of the beauty's industry's leading brands. The independent company has reportedly outpaced makeup rivals to be named the most popular brand on social media. And you know what's so crazy? I did a video about that too in like 2020, I want to say it was. Maybe it could have even been 2019 too, where I was like, oh my gosh, it was literally named the top beauty brand, like outbeating MAC Cosmetics and Makeup Forever and all that. I was like, damn, like, I knew Huda Beauty was doing so good, but I didn't know that it was going to be like Mac and Makeup Forever being that those companies have been around for so many years and hers was so new compared to theirs. But overall, I do like Huda Beauty's products. I think that she does put out some really good products, um, but I'm just really curious to see where the rebrand is going to go. I'm really curious to see how much that price point is going to be because I think right now, low key, in my personal opinion, her products are middle of the line i wouldn't call them like high end i do think that her eyeshadows in my personal opinion i feel like they should be a little bit cheaper you know what i mean but the rest of the stuff like say for example like you know her her foundation and her brow pencils things like that i feel like they're fine where they are but i do think that if they go up in price I don't know. I don't know how I would feel about that, to be quite honest with you, because basically what she's doing is she's just doing like a whole new logo and a rebranding. So things are going to be repackaged, but it's said to be the same formula. So it's like, clearly you're not really paying too much more. Do you know what I mean? Maybe the packaging might be a little bit more different, but then on top of that too, like why should a consumer pay a little bit more for just like, a unicarton. Do you know what I mean? I feel like at the end of the day, it's like we take the pencil out and we throw it away. So I'm just really curious to see where things go. And y'all, I'm just sitting over here being so selfish because I'm like, please don't make the price of the pencils more expensive because I really like that. But I'm curious to see what she comes out with. I would like to see from Huda Beauty a like nice light to medium coverage foundation because back in the day when her first foundation came out, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a great foundation. It was obviously good for that time for me, but I was more young then. Now that I'm older, I do have have more skincare concerns and I'm like whoa I am not going to be wearing that much foundation ever again in my life especially as I get older I'm like no I want a light to medium coverage and that's pretty much it so I would like to see that from her brand so I guess we'll see where it goes make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything I will catch you guys in the next one peace out Girl Scout